when Travis King first went to the border of North Korea, he immediately decided to fully run into the country. Now, with Travis King running into North Korea, he was never seen again. And this right here is the last and final picture we have of Travis King. So, why did Travis King decide to do this? Is he even still alive? Or will he even make it back to America? Those are all questions that we will talk about in today's video. But let's take it back to where this all started. Travis King is a Calvary Scout for the United States military. And this all started when Travis King first decided to take a trip to wonderful South Korea. Now, when Travis King first landed in South Korea, nothing went wrong. Until just a couple days after being there, Travis King apparently damaged public property in South Korea. Now, if you damage property in any country, it would follow up with a fine. And Travis King decided to not pay the $4,000 fine that he was charged with. So this would follow up with a 48 day arrest in the Qianyan prison. A news article states that he spent 48 days in a prison in Qianyan, a city about 50 miles south of the South Korean capital Seoul. After he failed to pay a $4,000 fine on charges that included damaging public property. So after Travis King's 48 days were up in the Qianyan prison, this would totally take a toll on Travis King's mental health. And as soon as he got out of prison, he called his family and Travis King was freaking out. I was like, you okay? And then he's, he's telling me, no, they're trying to kill me. And he was saying things like, said they're racist. I know it made me seem like some, something was going on with him. He just called and he just screamed, I'm not the army soldier you want me to be. I'm not the army soldier you want me to be. And he kept screaming that out loud. Honestly, just super sad. But when Travis King got out of prison, he had plans to fly right back home to see his family. Well, for some reason, Travis King completely canceled the entire flight and instead decided to take a tour to the North and South Korean border, the demilitarized zone. Now, if you watch any of my videos, you have seen this place before. The tour costed about $180, which was probably some of Travis King's last money. He had just paid a $4,000 fine, canceled a plane ticket, and is now spending $180 more on the tour. Travis King completely ditched going back home to his family, and instead decided to take a tour to North Korea. Now, when this tour first started, this is when stuff got deep. The entire tour group was shocked when they saw Travis King run across the border into North Korea. And like I said, this right here is the last picture taken of Travis King. Now, with the entire internet shocked about this, along came Travis King's family shocked as well. They could not believe the news when they heard it. With Travis King's grandpa even saying that he would never do something like that. I couldn't believe it. I don't think my grandson would have did that. If he didn't write mine. I think that he got a problem. He did some hell. All he did was read his Bible and play the Nintendo game. Now, someone else that went on the tour group to North Korea with Travis King has stated her thoughts as well, and it's pretty scary. And then suddenly I noticed a guy running, a guy dressed in black, running for looked like full gas towards the North Korean side. Um, and my first thought was, what an absolute idiot. I assumed he was sort of getting a mate to film it for some kind of TikTok stunt or something like that. She states that she thinks the whole thing was a TikTok challenge, which in my opinion would not be reasonable, as there's no evidence that Travis King went with any friends to North Korea, meaning no one could have been there to record him for a TikTok challenge. A news article states that Travis King could have crossed the border because of mental health issues. He had just got out of prison before he did this anyway. Another news article states that some some people think that Travis King did this because of the military, but in my opinion, that wouldn't be reasonable. The military to Travis wasn't really a big deal. His grandpa states that his grandson joined the military because he wanted to do better for himself, and he has drawn the service because he has a brother who is a police officer and a cousin that's in the Navy as well. Now with pushing all the why he did this aside, lots of news reporters wanted to know the family side of this. I just want my son back. I just want my son back, get my son home, get my son home, and pray, pray that he comes back. She hopes they're in the process of doing this right now. Mm -hmm. That's all she really wants. What is the latest you've 
heard. I have nothing to say okay. right now. This poor woman is already stressed enough, but you guys are showing up at her house asking for questions every single day. Respect their privacy a little. They do not deserve this. If I wrote the definition for the sentence annoying news reporter, I would link this video. Now clearly, people were really mad that the news reporters weren't respecting their privacy. One of Travis King's family members says that the news reporters should probably wait until they're okay to talk about this situation. My mom's lost a son before, so this is weighing very heavily on her. And uh, we just, like I said, ask that y'all respect our privacy at some point. But at this time, we just ask that y'all like, defer to the US military and whoever's like handling this. He definitely deserves privacy. If the news reporter's family member got trapped inside North Korea, he wouldn't want people showing up at his house every single day. This is literally like paparazzi, but even worse. So clearly everyone was mad at the news reporter for disturbing Travis King's family. Some people even said the news reporter is a loser. Imagine going to someone's house because they lost a family member and questioning them. Give them some time, buddy. In my opinion, I agree with some of these comments. If I personally lost a family member, I wouldn't want people showing up to my door questioning me every single day. It could probably get annoying for them sometimes because they just lost a family member. Another question a lot of people have is did North Korea ever respond to the situation? Well, after weeks of waiting, North Korea sent out a public speaker to go talk about the situation. Before I conclude, let me mention our efforts on private Travis King's situation. We're working very hard to ascertain information regarding his well-being and are actively engaging to ensure his safety and return. And we will continue to take steps to demonstrate our commitment to extended deterrence. This man basically just stated that eventually Travis King would be freed, and that it's their priority to keep Travis King safe. But for now, this was the only North Korea response we ever got. After this public North Korea speaker talked about this, this was never brought up with North Korea ever. Now, maybe eventually Joe Biden will take action on the situation, and then Travis King will come back home. Now, something else I want to mention is that this whole situation has actually happened before. Someone else has been held captive inside North Korea just like Travis King. I'm sure you guys are familiar with the name Otto Warmbier. He went through the same thing that Travis King is currently going through, and his parents are going through the same situation that Otto Warmbier's parents went through. Otto Warmbier was held in detention for 17 months straight inside of North Korea, and after months and months and months of fighting for his freedom to fly back home, Otto was released from North Korea and was flown right back to his family in America. But sadly, just two days after landing in America, Otto Warmbier died. And sadly, the news reporters never got to question him, so we don't know what he went through inside of North Korea. But honestly, if Otto Warmbier was able to make it back home for a couple days after being isolated for 17 months straight, I personally believe that there's still hope that Travis King makes it back home to his family as well.